Hey everyone, Scott Smith with the Smith team at Keller Williams. Happy Friday, September 24th. Uh, I've got a reminder in my calendar that Wednesday the 22nd, first day of fall, is actually uh, marks the uh, the timing for 100 days left in the year. So uh, the countdown continues to 2022, uh, where I guess it'd be 98 days left uh, in the year. Um, so I wanted to share with you as we are into fall, uh, a few things that you might uh, be observing or kind of hearing. Um, and if you're thinking about making a move into next year or even uh, yet this year, a couple things to keep in mind. So I'm uh, talking about three things, price, timing, and terms. Uh, uh, pricing, uh, what we're seeing in the marketplace right now is is very healthy. We're actually seeing kind of the seasonal uh, settling of the market. And with that uh, comes some stabilization with the market activity. Um, showing activity uh, as we get into fall every year uh, stabilizes. It's not kind of that breakneck spring market uh, speed where we're getting you know dozens and dozens of showings uh, we're seeing quality showings uh, this time of year so for buyers and sellers it's it's very very healthy with that and also with that it comes uh, some stabilization with pricing so we're not seeing these crazy crazy run-ups uh, with pricing uh, we're seeing a lot more uh, stability when it comes to that we're still up uh, about 10 percent um, as a whole and some areas certainly certainly more uh, year over year and and uh, almost 22, 23% uh, from 2019 pricing. So, so definitely uh, some more equity in the marketplace with that. Uh, so timing uh, would be the second point that I wanna share with you. Uh, timing, uh, when we're talking about, uh, is now a good time to sell going into fall. And regardless of uh, where we are with, uh, with uh, the crazy prices, uh, mortgage rates, timing in the fall is actually a really good uh, time for buyers to look at the marketplace and sellers even for that matter to open up uh, possibly putting their home on the market. And the reason for that is uh, you're not, you don't have a lot of competition. Um, not as many uh, homes are coming on the market. And you're also uh, dealing more with serious buyers and serious sellers. Uh, it's people that are kind of kicking the tires, looking around, uh, are really are kind of, um, are out of the marketplace uh, this time of year. So September, October, November, um, we've got the parade of homes this time of year. So you get more people that are kind of gearing up towards next year. Uh, but certainly fall is a very good time because there's more serious buyers, and more serious sellers out there, less competition, less tire kickers. Um, and I think there's some great opportunities out there. I think for the few homes that we've bought, uh, whether it be our own personal residence or uh, investment properties, many of those transactions happened in the fall. So just coincidentally. Um, the third thing I want to talk about is terms. So talk about price, talked about timing, and then talk about terms. And what I mean by terms is interest rates, uh, kind of where we are with interest rates as the market stabilizes. And the crazy thing is that interest rates are, well, price and timing is, is all local, but interest rates are actually more of a national uh, across the United States phenomenon. So um, as we see pricing for mortgage rates, 30-year, 15-year mortgage rates, those are really driven by some of the national uh, influences from the economic numbers, uh, banking uh, um, indicators. Uh, right now, what we're seeing is actually uh, interest rates uh, kind of trickling back down. They, so they were back up and now they're trickling back down. So if you thought about refinancing, now is a really good time to look at that. Uh, banks aren't as swamped as they were before. Um, you can lock in an interest rates at or even below 3% on a 30-year fixed and maybe even look into the mid uh, to low twos for a 15-year and certainly save thousands of dollars uh, if you plan on being your home uh, more long-term. The other thing too I want to talk to you about is if you look at your mortgage statement, if you see something on there that says MIP, if you have an FHA loan or PMI, private mortgage insurance, um, with the increase in equity that we've seen, you're able to eliminate either of those, um, with especially the private mortgage insurance, by just getting a quick appraisal uh, or even calling your lender. You might be able to, to just have it eliminated by making a quick phone call. Sometimes it might save you 75, 100, 100, 25 bucks a month, uh, but certainly it's real money over time. And you can even apply that money towards uh, towards your principal and accelerate that mortgage pay down. 
So certainly reach out to us uh, if you need some uh, assistance with that or have some questions about what your equity position would be with your home. Um, wanted to share that quick update with you about price, timing, terms as we're heading into fall, 100 days left in the year. Uh, we're getting closer to turning the calendar to 2022, which I'm sure everyone will be excited uh, to do again. Uh, if you know of anyone that's looking to buy or sell a home in uh, the Minneapolis-St. Paul area, we'd love to be of assistance with that and uh, give, uh, give back to our clients uh, with uh, some great service. Take care. Have a great weekend. Bye now.